this is Charlie from Charlie's Awesome World of Adventures and what and today I'm gonna to give you my review on the Flash. Ash it's about Barry Allen whose dad is about, about to be arrested because he he was accused used of killing his wife also who's also Barry's mum. Um um and Barry's trying to find evidence to prove if that his dad didn't do it. With, so he did so, decide to go back in t- in time to pre- prevent and his, and his mum's death, death from happening, but but in the progress, as he creates a new t- timeline, and with new D- with n- with no DC here, he wrote, Rose and General Zot Odd has has arrived to take conquer up. Oh. Now it's up to Barry to take uh, Barry to team up, team up with a different Batman, and uh, and Carl Carl and uh, and Dick. This universe is owned by Barry, Barry yeah, Allen, who's just become the Flash. Actually, in order to who stop up General Zod, Odd, and 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 put all the back to to the timeline. Now, before I go talk about this movie, we need to address the elephant in the room. Uh, um, I am, of course, talking about the controversy surrounding the main actor, Ezra Miller. But without going too much into it, let's just say he's caused some pretty big crimes. And yet, yet he was able to get away with it. It one more innocent people got the short end of the stick. Dick. <laughs> Honestly, for the sake of this review, I'm only going to be on focusing on the Flash. The only time I'll be talking about Ezra um, Miller is when I'm talking about his performance in the movie. I'll be I'll be leaving most of the most if not all the controversy. See you, see you away. Hey, and and I'm I'm not gonna let the controversy infect my thoughts on the movie or this review. Uh, but he, but with or without the controversy, so I don't think it would change much because yeah, this movie sucked. Uh, uh, which is pretty bad because there are some ideas which I'll uh, which I'll get in, uh, into. To to that, I uh, could have actually worked. What is some of the character dynamics? Makes makes while they aren't really used to their full potential. So some of the characters here are actually, actually quite engaging, doing and charming. I mean, with Barry, we it's we while he's known as the fast beast, the the yes, sir, of one who's got gone through the loss of his mum and will do anything to to get get her and bring her back. And, but he soon realizes that his his actions should do us cool consequences when his what oh oh this check and then creates an all new universe like the multiverse in a way. A, a the mo- the movie movie handles that of, uh, very very well of the of how how your actions can can bring the what what as to some I'm thinking. And while the writing for that, I mean, we wasn't strong. I could see the potential of her, how he would want to fix his mistake, aches he made in the past. I'm sure this, I'm sure Barry isn't great, but at least he's more more, more tolerable, more than the and the Barry of of the of the universe. Us that he gets stuck in. Seriously, if Barry number two two does make this film kind of unwatchable, but because because he's he can have some of the weaker moments of the film, but and his and his jokes are just more annoying than funny. And it also, so it it really does affect Ezra's performance. Because his performance is bad, as this Barry here, here is just not great. 
I can say the same about out the main, but I have the DCU. You here, cause as man, Ashford didn't really put all of uh, put it all in it. Maybe it's cause the controversy surrounding him. Yeah, but it is noticeable that he didn't do great. On the side note, before talking about the other characters, I'll say now that Ezra Miller is the only actor I'd consider bad. Some, some of the other acts, to, to especially Michael Keaton back, I might actually do a great job of a, of training their characters. To, uh, as I'm, I'm bringing them to life in a new way. As for the rest of the characters, to... They're the type that have potential, but given little. Michael Keaton's Batman and mainly just Stefano Stalger reason. Kara Danvers, aka a Supergirl, oh, comes like, like near the beginning of the third act. And General Zod is just an, uh, us this threat at the end of the film that our heroes have to fight right at the end of the movie. There's not really much action going on going on with the villain to do too much I should until about the end. And granted some of the ideas of the characters are are or I like I said before, most of the actors are solid but it is hard to get a, a likable with this cast. Next there's the story. Like the characters I do see either potential for the store. In fact, I can say that this or we we on its own on, on does have potential to be great. Hey, sure the multiverse plot line and it's something that's been done that unto death F and and even if the execution was great that would still be moment moments that do feel easily predictable. Well, like they are here, here, like with how the multiverse works, works. But I can see how he wants to focus more on Barry's character, to of how he wants to to fix his mistakes. But, but with that said, why does the execution fall flat? At, like I said before, the, the idea for the story is really good. Good, I I do like I like it. It's just. As the execution really messes up. Uh, this is mainly shown uh, um, with how the multiverse is handled. So, so, uh, I know some can say that Marvel doesn't really they have great track record with, with their multiverse. Uh, but I can, can at least say it makes sense. Uh, it's like when a character <laughs> so does get killed off. Of I, it does make sense of another variant coming to replace them. So, um, yeah, well, it does make a little more sense, and it it can still be quite confusing. Thing like how can two batteries live in the same universe? As that is something I really didn't get. At. Uh, uh, and it even released more plot ho- holes towards the end of the movie. Through, through which can't... I, I'll leave a few unanswered questions. Yeah. Which is a shame because this is like the reset movie for the CEU. So none of these questions are going to be answered. Also, while it's not the main priority, I'll say now that the humour is pretty bad. I've already talked about the jokes also about Barry 2 not working. Okay, but when this movie does try to be funny, it doesn't really work. Uh, and then there are the visuals. Usually, depending with superhero movies, whether the movie feels good or bad, as I can at least defend the visuals because they can at least be good to look at. Uh, or for a superhero movie, super to look at. I'm sorry I had to use that joke. Oh, but with that said, what happened here? Seriously, like, the visuals here are very dull. Most of the pl- most of the backgrounds aren't he- easy to look at. Some of the costumes were really off, and the use of CG. It, man, it is uncanny. 
Nee. Nee. And I know many people have complained about Marvel's use of CG. And I am one of those very, and I'm very, very few defenders of it. It, but at least Marvel's CGI, I have stuff I can and easily look at. Uh, even with no dog in, in Quantumania. Yeah, as as uncanny as that is, I do have a better time of looking at it than some of the other CGI in this movie. I know I'm slamming the visuals hard, but as bad as they are, they, there are a few benefits. Once that are uh, uh, the acting scenes are actually the best parts of the feature. So narratively wise there's not much going on. Oh, but when our heroes have to get into action, shouldn't shouldn't all, all Barry has to use, use his super speed? He, that's when the the effects are actually at the best. As to make some pleasing moments that can be exciting and as confusing as the the ending is, I'll admit that the climax towards it it is quite engaging. Jin Jin and. I I did get a little bit excited at that moment. Not a lot, but a little bit. But it's so so overall or usually I'll just call a bad movie a bad movie, but this is one of the few bad movies that I feel sorry for. Or, or even with the controversies out of the way, the flash is just a dull old superhero and we've all not much going for it. On a it does have some solid ideas. He has done some great uh, eight, eight actors. Just as well some some strong action. So, but, but with a pretty confusing multiverse storyline, characters that, that go to wake, weak visual effects, excellent as Ramilla's performance, it, 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 it does... I'd leave this to be one of the worst DC movies. These, I get as fans of the DCEU will probably like this, this as like the conclusion to the fan toys, but don't expect it, it to be a proper end to the conclusion. Also, I do know that there will be a lot of mo- people that will be boycotting this movie, being and avoiding it because of Ezra Miller. And regardless of my feeling, <laughs> Eatings. Links, there's no, there's nothing really, really wrong. I'm oh, checking this out. Oh, even though I do understand where people are coming from. Uh, which leads to the question why did, did they keep heads from, from, from all this controversy? See, see, well, it took me a while to think of the answer, but the quick answer, so, so, so they don't really want to delay it. Keep in mind that Warners have been struggling over the last couple of years. And keep, and this is supposed to be their 100th anniversary this year. It, it, and so far, they haven't really had the greatest effects. Sure, Barbie was a billion dollar hit. hit, hit I, I, they have to, had to deal with a lot of bomb arms as well. Especially with DC, with both this one and Sam Fury of the Gods, odds where the latter that became one of the lowest opening things for a DC movie. <laughs> the, 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 as, as much as they failed oh, that with this movie, the, it, there is a sense and that Warner's wanted to keep this despite as as was involvement because it's like their last because they consider it to be their last chance to save the studio and all that and that and all that backfired miserably most people most filmmakers don't really want to give up on it the i want to find my way to use it to that ever advantage and continue with the materials they got but, but even if and without those contracts Versus, see, this is still one of the worst DC films, and, and that's why I'm giving this a four out of ten. And 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 this is why I kind of prefer Marvel over DC. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.